Today we will learn how to create a drop down button and populate its menu from a list. Add a drop down button widget. For now, on changed can be set to null. We can add menu items here. Drop down menu items should be added within this. Child text widget. This is the text to display. Text apple. The value is also apple. Since the data type of value is string, we can specify the data type of drop down list as string. When running, only one arrow can be seen in place of the drop down button and it is not enabled. We need to include the onChanged function to enable it. Give any variable name. Value. The value of the menu item to be changed is obtained here. Run. Now we can see Apple text. Add two more drop down menu items. Orange. Banana. No value is displayed by default without clicking. Displayed all. For that, the drop down button widget has an attribute called value. Let's text Apple. Now we can see Apple text displayed while running. Default values can be assigned in a variable. Let's include variable names. You can print the value in the onChanged function. OK. Value can be assigned to that variable. Need to set state. It is very difficult to include each menu item manually. Let's learn how to insert from a list using a loop. A fruits list can be added at the top. It is of string type. Create a function. It returns a drop down menu item list. Value type is string. Get fruits drop down. Create a return variable. List drop down menu item. String. 
Variable new menu item. List name fruits. Create a foreign loop. For string fruit in fruits. Create a variable and assign the menu item to it. Drop down menu item. Child text widget. The display is fruit. Value also fruit. It can be added to the list created above. New menu item dot add. Now let's return it. Now this function can be called instead of the item list. Run. A long list of fruits can be found in the drop down button. Thank you for watching.